The elephant is alive. Let's go, A's. The elephant is alive and kicking. Let's go. And he's deciding to play Dutch. It is the real A's. It's the right name. It's the right clan tag. People are already dropping in the high YouTubes. I mean, this is A's, so I would uh, I would wager a bet that this will hit YouTube just because you just know there's going to be a crazy-ass build order here. <laughs> oh, A's! Oh, wait, no, this is Brits. Okay. I was going to say that would have been uh, that would have been diabolical for A's. And let's just go have a look at A's straight away. Let's go have a look at A's straight away. And I told you already, what is going on? What is he doing? What is he doing? He's going for TP. Oh, oh, oh this is going to be juicy. This is going to be exciting. Oh, yes. This is every caster's dream. I can't wait to see what the deck's going to look like. A bit of a back herd. A bit of a back herd. But I think it's going to be okay. So he's chopping enough for a TP. Perfectly macroed for the 100 wood. Not chopping a single wood over. Nice. Picking up the 30 coins. He's continually uh, chopping, uh, mining for gold. So he's got decent herds. Yeah. One up there. A decent one here. A decent one here. It's a little bit frustrating too. Yeah, you, you want the bison. You generally don't want the uh, proghorn. In case anyone's wondering why. is because bison have free health or free HP and these have two HP. I mean it's 20 and 30 HP but just divided by 10. And so these uh only survive two hits and so it's easier to herd with bison because they survive more hits. Um okay, so looks like you maybe going to see a are we going to see 16 fill? We are. Ace. Yep. Yep. Okay, over over gathering on uh, gold by 20, but that's okay because this is A's and we'll allow it. Herding over here. Herding over here. Okay. Okay. This is A's, all right. He's picked up a Cherokee as well, or a Cherokee. I always, uh, in English, that looks like a silent CH for some reason, but it's not. It's either a Sh or a Ch. We're going for a Ch. Cherokee. Not a Cherokee. Not a My Sharona. Oh damn that 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 um that cows look at that cows look at this cows swing its hips, um, my god Harrison's mum is uh, teasing us. Look at that thing go, man. You go, Betty the cow, swinging that thing. Oh, damn! I must be thirsty because I am looking at a pixelated cow swinging its ass as it walks. Okay, moving on. Look at that. Yes, come on, A's. Let's go. I did have my suspicions that this is what it, the build was going to revolve around. So the TP is going to be to get two age one cards. So we've got three merchants followed by Dutch East India Company. Now, I'm going to have to say, me and my boys in the Discord, you know, we were here a few months ago before this card got nerfed as well. And we was testing this card out. So it basically makes banks 300 food and 300 wood. And gives them plus 75% hit points. It used to be 100% hit points. But for some reason, Talanus, Talanus thought that was too good. Why? You'll have to ask Talanus in all his infinite wisdom. But he thought it was too good. So here we are. And, and for the love of God, Talanus, if you're listening, can we get, can we get um, scout DLCs? Can we get, can we get skins for like envoys, scouts? Any other type of scout out there as well. I would love to see DLCs for this. And don't forget, yes, Dutch East India Company, it does allow envoys to build banks, which means you're saving villager seconds. You're saving 30 seconds of a villager to build that. So that's a, that, that is a really nice buff. Uh, I know it sounds silly, but that's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's a really nice um, added um, benefit of that card. Aging up with the Quartermaster. And he'll, he'll shortly have an, an extra card. There it is already. The bank goes down. That gives you lots of XP. And it's going to be 700 wood. So between that 700 wood and the 400 wood, maybe that's going to be enough. He's also picking up a, oh, a Hulken 
Uh, spearman there, very, very nice. I mean, this guy's got like a six foot long spear and he's worried about a couple of bears. I mean, he's got a shield as well. And this guy, by the way, I don't know why, but this the treasure version of this guy has some swag. Look at that. Look at the way he's like, that's like something, that's some Sparta level motherfucker right there. Look, that guy is, yeah, that is some Sparta swag that that guy's got. I don't know why he stands like that. Because I, I don't believe the other versions of them do. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. He's going up against Brit, so he's going to, no doubt he's going to know that potentially there's going to be at some point, quite early on, there's going to be some pressure. Continually building the banks with the envoy. Let's just have a quick look over at uh, the Brit player. Uh, interesting, he has advanced mill. <laughs> That's such a random card. I mean, I could see it working for Brits, right? Because they eat uh, lots of natural resources very, very quickly. So, you know, that is quite a useful card at sort of the, the 20 minute mark. Um, both the resources for gold and wood. Interesting. A uh, little bit, little bit different to a normal build, but you know he's got most, of, most of the, the the cards you need. Uh, he's on twenty four bills. He's shipping wood. He's doing Brit tings, Brit tings. But let's go back over and have a look at A's. And with that seven hundred wood, he's building a, he's building a church. Um, he sees that the TP is starting to be sieged down, so maybe it's just to replace that and to to keep the XP flow. And look at this. Every single bank has been built oh. by an envoy right now. It's 6 minutes 40, and his fourth bank is about to go down. He has a barracks. The fifth bank's going down. A market's going down. He has a church and a TP. And he's shipping team infantry hit points. What? Hey, this is A's we're talking about. <laughs> infantry hit points. I don't know why. Maybe there's a specific kind of mathematical equation that he knows about that having five skirms oh, kill a yeah. unit in one hit rather than that. I don't know. I don't know. KUMG0 Blin just subscribed. But I, do, I won't test the master. And um, come, Goblin, thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> You're the best name ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come goblin, what a name. It's like an evil uh, a super villain. Okay, five skirms. I was gonna say five skirms do kill a musketeer in one. I'm not sure what happened there. He didn't didn't really get the volley on. Okay, five skirms. It takes two hits for five skirms to kill a longbow. It does take 10 shots. It takes 10 shots. And even with the team infantry hit points, um, there's the, it, they, the longbow survived on one HP. Be interesting. Wow. Now he's going for infantry attack. Uh, I'm sorry. And, and I, I'm hit points. What am I talking about? The, the hit points isn't going to make a difference to, to the kill. But this card as well. I'm getting confused with this card here. Infantry combat. Um, but yeah, now, now it's got 15%. So... If you're if you're taking really early into these cards, then it's 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 much more effective to go halberdier pikeman. That's generally what you'll see people do if they're taking into those upgrade cards very early. Then uh, generally they're going to be like it's going to be more of a halberdier skirm build than it is a, a Reuter skirm build, just because it's it's much more effective that way. Still got his envoy alive gonna uh just run that bad boy that swag sway swag into just the middle of a battlefield and uh it's gonna be there just to soak up some damage but that envoy did its job it did its job it put four of these five banks down that's one minute that's two minutes of vi of of a villager second two minutes of villager seconds saved two minutes that's a long time saved just by building banks so east india company it's a nice card and Azank obviously thinks so. He, he's massed a nice amount of skirmishes here. Oh, Azank going to lose a villager there. Underestimating these longbows. Scores a 1,500 score dif difference. It's, uh, it's winnable for either side here. It's a lot of musketeers. These banks, though, this is where having this extra HP on these banks is going to pay off. He now has the option of Minutemen. He's going for it. 
Going for great coats. Five more skirmishes pop in. I don't think these musketeers are going to be able to take this bank down. He's going to try it, though. That's why he's got the longbows there, just standing still. He wants that bank to go down, but I don't think he realizes it has 6,125 HP. <laughs> that's, that's almost as much as a TC. That ain't going down, Sunshine. But your musketeers are. And look at this, just like that. All because he went greedy and didn't check the HP of the banks. If it had 3,500 HP, it would have gone down. Oh, Azan, pay attention. More longbows comes out. But wow, look at this. A's already going for this card as well. <laughs> Infantry combat. So these skirmishers are literally taking psalm, steroids, testosterone, you name it. These guys are on it. They are buffed. They have that super soldier serum in them right now. 180 HP and 22 range attack. But they're still going to get beat by three hazards. Longbows in the back as well. Where are the musketeers? The musketeers are going to be pushing up here. The bank hasn't been... Uh, repaired, so that likely will go down now. <laughs> if A's just shipped nine Reuters or eight Halberdiers <laughs> instead of that infantry combat, <laughs> like he would be ahead so bad right now. Score the neck and neck, though. More, three more Hazars come in. Is that going to be enough? TC fire, everything straight on it. Villagers are getting buffed now as well. They've got blunderbuss and great coats right now. Azak needs to deal with these hazards. Oh, popping five envoys. These guys, they do six hand attack. And they have 220 HP. I love how the envoys actually get buffed from the infantry combat cards. <laughs> Normally they have 200 HP and five hand attack, so they actually get buffed as well. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, that's that's like, what was that, a thousand HP? Just over a thousand HP? That was just tanks there? You know, that's, uh, you know, popping five envoys for, what are they, 50 food each? You know, that it's a really effective way of defending. You know, just popping out that much HP to tank against is really, really nice. Aze is now going to struggle, though, because, oh, now there's five Hazars. Needs to split these skirmishes. Could make more. Oh, no, he's housed. He's massively housed. The Musketeers are going for the TC, but I tell you what, he needs to start bringing the skirmishes in, kill these hal uh, kill these Musketeers, because Halberdiers would do really well versus these Musketeers as well. But he's bringing, okay, he's bringing the Halberdiers out on the wrong side, though, because look at that, that massive longbows out of nowhere. I really feel like he could have just sandwiched the Musketeers with the Halbs as well. Because now he can't deal with, get something in queue, get something in queue. I think he just massing Halberdiers right now would be really good. But look at this mass from from Brits. Even though A's is up in score, I'm worried for him. I'm worried for my boy. These Halberdiers, don't forget, benefit from all of these upgrade cards as well. So they've got 260 HP and 36 hand attack. I mean, he, he can he can ship mercantilism right now. I mean, he has to do something, right? He could ship the church card next. His villagers, they've got great coats and blunderbuss. Villagers coming in. Villagers will be effective. Envoys are going to be effective as well. He's still got a decent amount of skirmishers. The problem is the longbows are just soaking up damage from the skirmishers. He's shipping nine Reuters. He's making halberdiers. I mean, you've got to surely ship the church card. Surely you ship the church card from here. You have to repair that TC ASAP because the reinforcements are coming in thick and fast. Azank, tell me it's not over, A's. Tell me it's not true. I'll tell you what, though. Make five halberdiers and some Reuters, and I think he's going to be okay because there's no longbows coming in. <laughs> Still got four env more envoys alive. <laughs> Reuters are going to come in. Now it's starting to look good for A's. He could have gotten away with the church card there and shipped the red lancers. Now we've got Skirmreuter. 
Only longbows could deal with this right now. Brits are all over the map. 30 bills for Azang. So he's not actually lost that many bills at all. Um, he's only lost one bank, really, and maybe a couple of villagers. And that villager pool in that fight was really nice. Compared to 54 villagers, though, Brits are still in this. Eight more longbows come in. Potentially another five hazards come in as well. So Ace doesn't have a stable yet. These skirmishes, though, so, so strong. So tough right now. Okay, Longbow's coming in. Hazar's going in for it. Hazar's have not been buffed. No cards for Hazar's. No love for them. Ten more musks. Three more Hazar's coming in. The Hazar's are going to connect with the Skirms. Kill the Halberdier. These things do so much damage. But A's, A's desperate for food right now as well. That's something else to take into consideration. He's up in score comfortably. He's got Bessie over here with 270 um, uh, food. I was about to say HP then, but it's food. I love it. They're using these envoys to build another bank as well. So still getting a benefit out of that East India Company card. Brits are still pushing the agenda here. Still being super aggressive. 55 villagers for Brits. He's looking in a good position, but... I mean, he's, okay, still got a couple of herds over here. There's one over here as well. That's going to take a while to get, though. Azang's aging up. The cheek of it. Classic A's. Getting away with Murdo. He still hasn't shipped that church card. He needs to be shipping something. He needs to be eight, probably eight pikemen, honestly. Is the age up going to get there in time? More skirms coming in. More hazards coming in. Oh, no. This could be good again for Brits. He, Azant was repairing some of his TC. But, oh, no. This guy. This is the guy we were playing. He just loves to go for that T. He loves to go for the building regardless of what's happening. The hazards have 20 siege attack. I think it's going to go down. Not like this, Ace. Build more envoys. Get your explorer back. Not like this. No. He's five seconds away. 172 HP. Is it going to happen? Is he going to have 126 HP? Oh, he stopped sieging. 88, 88 HP. Oh, he just it. Oh, my goodness me. Only A's would get away with that. Oh, if only the longbows were on the TC as well, it would have got taken down. But he had no way of knowing if he was aging or not. Oh, the hype. Okay, so he's made it to age four. He can't send anything. He's building an outpost to try. What does he have? Uh, send that church card for the love of God, man. Instead, he's going for two heavy cannons. Uh, I tell you what, if he keeps these halberdiers alive. Okay, he's got some Reuters as well. Okay, two heavy cannons is definitely the right play. Okay, this is good. 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 This is really good. Um, he needs to bring these halberdiers. Oh, God. He hasn't got any population space. If he could get... If he built a house right now, these halberdiers could be smashing in. Five halberdiers could be tackling this right now. Oh, no. But five hazards coming at the perfect time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Reuters, where are you? Okay. Backs up. Gets out of there. Manages to survive. That could have gone very, very wrong. Super risky there by A's, but it pays off. Scores are still tight. Scores are still tight. <laughs> One poor longbow. Oh, God. Just absolutely just a cannonballed in the face. Imagine getting cannonballed in the face. A cannonball that's bigger than your face. Okay, those halves getting taken down. Uh, these Hazards going to find this. Oh, the town centre. But Brits are sleeping. No, he doesn't see it. Oh, no. Oh, that is that is diabolical. Oh, is he going to see? I think he is. I think he is. He is. But that surely that's bought, bought Ace just enough time to get his heavy cannons close enough to defend this. There's a decent amount of Hazards, though. Heavy cannons going to get a pop. They're not. 
Longbow's going to overstay the welcome. No. Okay, yes. Going back in for enough. Boom. And look at the damage. You can't look how much half of all those longbows just got just got a half HP'd in one hit. You, you, you cannot kite versus heavy cannons. Like, even at the top level, I always see this. People try and micro against cannons. Why? Why are you trying to kill one villager? It is not worth getting cannonballed by a heavy cannon. This thing does an insane amount of damage. And if your longbows are bunched together, it's GG. Huge mistake there by Brits. And look, I, I mean, the line of sight of the heavies is more than the longbows. I don't know why he thinks he can just try and... It's just so risky. Just take your longbows back. And for the love of God, put them on stagger mode as well. Quadruple kill there. It's just like 300 resources gone in, in an instant. In an instant. But nine hazards come in. He still has herds on the map as well. Wow, he's taken this middle one. And I tell you what, Brits are closing the gap. 69 villagers. Nice. And he's triple raxing. He's triple stabling. And wow, all of a sudden, this 22 Hazar mass is looking scary. And they've been buffed. All the age two cards have been taken up. And maybe this is why he has advanced mill. Because I tell you what, by the time he gets his next card, the herds on the map are going to be looking pretty slim pickings. So maybe this is a huge big brain. Maybe this is part of the metal that we, us, us European Westerners just aren't aware of. Only 1k score in it now. 70 villagers in age two, 21 villagers. He takes down a bank. That's 700 resources or 600 resources rather. But that's a nice pop. The two heavies, they're a problem. Ace does see the amount of hazards that are here though. What's his next card that he's sending? He sent a factory. Where is that factory? Okay, that factory is uh, over there. Okay. This is a lot of hazards. But you can't just, you, even though this is a lot of hazards, you just can't dive in versus 17 halberdiers. I tell you what, now it's even more. 21 halberdiers. Like, there's just no way these, these hazards are going to be able to do that. No way are those hazards uh, going to be able to deal with that. These guys are just, they, they've been triple carded as well. Triple carded. And look at Aze's, <laughs> look at Aze's gold. Oh my God. His factory's on food. Why is he being... <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing with all that gold? Maybe he's now waiting for the church card, which the Dutch's version is called Religious Freedom. I beg we see. No, he's not going for it. Oh, my God. Hiya. What? <laughs> what is he doing? He's playing with his food at this point. He could ship mercantilism. He's, there must be a reason for this. He's on 4,000 4, gold. <laughs> Four and a half thousand. A's, why A's? Longbow's playing with fire there. Is he going to try and revolt or something? Church guard going down for Brits. Brits aging up now. There's no GMT though. He has actually shipped advanced mill. Let's go. So mills for Brits now cost 200 wood. I don't know how much more HP they have, but that is hilarious. Okay, now the banks are starting to go down. Now this could be dangerous. Now this could be dangerous. Mills have 5,000 HP. Interesting. Advanced mills has been sent. Ace has revolted. Oh, do you know what? I bloody knew it. I bloody knew it. This is why he went for all those early Egypt cards, because I bet you bottom dollar that these guys are going to be buffed, and they are. They have 230 HP. <laughs> and they have 1,300. To... Let's go, Ace. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my boy's making Indonesia work. <laughs> Let's go, Ace. The Javanese Spearman. These guys are really good. 
50 siege attack, 230 HP, and they have 30% range resist, which is really good. Range resist for a pikeman is super good. Fortress Age is coming for Brits. I, he was wanting to go for that industrial as well, but he, is. Uh, he, he went for the covered wagon. I don't think he's going to get the age up. He needs to be sending it now, but it looks like he might be backtracking. He need, yeah, he needs culverins. And these uh, we call these the penis cannon, the flaccid cannon, because look at these things. Look at these things. It must have been uh, cold in the shower when these guys got built, but hey, here we are. Oh, something happened there. And look, he's trying to he's trying to run around the map, do some damage. But again, these penis cannons. I'm sorry, the set bang. They will do a decent amount of damage to infantry. So a bit of a base trade going on right now. More banks going down. This could be a problem. But look at these set bangs and look at these Javaneers getting stuck in. More of them. Even the envoys coming back in. We've got Veteran Hazard with 432 HP. What? How are they going to fare against this mass of Javelinese Spearmen? Oh, uh, more setbacks getting made. The Hazards, I think they're going to survive. They are. There just wasn't enough Spearmen. Have they done enough damage? The TC down here goes down as well. Oh, this is messy. A still up in score. More setbangs. More Javelinese coming in. I think he can make them from the TC. You can make revolutionaries as well. And I think revolutionaries would be benefiting from all of these upgrade cards that Ace has sent right now. No TC for Brits just yet. More Javanese coming in. And I think, I tell you what, he's done enough here maybe. I think he's done enough. He's going to want to protect his, uh, his uh, factories over here. Now, that's another question. Can he can he protect them? 69 vils for Brits. Zero vils for A's. <laughs> There's a decent... That's a scary mass of cauldrons, though. Is that going to be enough? A's isn't pushing up here. He should be. These Javanese spearmen cost 80 food. Super cheap for the unit that they are. 80 food for 230 HP. That's pretty damn good. Five speed as well. One factory goes down. On these Hazards, if he, if he micros properly, these Hazards could go down. Setbangs only have 150 HP. He's bringing in reinforcements. Where are those culverins? Ace is going to see them now, though. And if those culverins are unprotected, then you know what the pipemen are going to do. And that's exactly what Ace wants to do. No, not like this. He's going to get the trap. The scores are still close. The Culverns aren't fast enough to run away. Oh. <laughs> the set bangs are basically a flaming arrow. No unpack or pack animation, which is nice. He's shipping four set bangs. Oh no. Oh no. The penis cannons. Where are they coming from? Flaccid cannons attack. Take my flaccid cannon. Oh, but he, does he get the second one? Oh, that could have been massive. He killed that heavy cannon. He takes one of them down. But all the culverins go down. He'll take that trade all day, baby. Is Indonesia looking strong? It is. He's now 11k score up. We could see Ottoman Expeditionary Army. We could see this card. The, the Akan as well is nice. The A's wants to go full troll mode. And I don't blame him. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> He's just getting fisted by Javanese spearmen. <laughs> and he has 100 pop worth of units. What does the Brit player have? He has 108 pop, but 67 of that is rich. He still has 67 bills. And uh, desperate measures coming in right now. He's trying to wall up. I would be doing the same, but he's drastically losing villagers at a, an extremely fast rate. He still has a heavy cannon, 43 HP. Damage. The taunt spam's coming in from chat. You haven't had it in a while, have you? It's like taking a child to a sweet shop. You want every every sweet in the in the, the candy store if you're American. 
And look at this. The TC going down. He's rebuilt another one over here, though, as well. Yeoman card coming in. Okay, I could see that. That could be effective. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Don't let these Falks die. You need these Falks. Micro well so you don't lose even one. I think he's... Oh, he keeps one alive on AHP. Pretty epic. And when Yeoman comes in, watch what happens to the range. Boom. 26 range. Longbowman. I think that's probably about the same as a set bang. It is. So Yeoman longbows have the same range as set bang cannons. That's pretty interesting. More Minutemen option coming in here. The longbows are going to be the same range of these set bangs. One set bang is going to go down. He needs Minutemen. He is. I tell you what, it might not be over. There's still one factory alive. Oh, he doesn't see the setbacks coming in from the rear. Of course, these flaccid penis cannons like to come in from the rear. Oh, dear. These Javanese spearmen just do so much siege attack. 50 siege. And they have 30% range resist, so the longbows is going to deflect 30% of that range of that damage that they're dealing. If he can, if he can get these walls up, but oh, I don't know, I don't know, how's he going to deal with this? He's building manor houses. I think you need outposts. And and Aze, Aze is, oh, I mean, he, he's actually building banks. I mean, he's getting villagers back. Oh no, that's eight villagers. Oh dearie me. And it looks like Ace has actually shipped the villager card, which is over here. Uh, and interesting that this is uh, the, the Indonesia one is really, really nice. And look at this, Longbow's taking care of setbangs there. Um, this gives you a huge food trickle. So this gives you a 4.65 food trickle. Let's say that's the equivalent of seven to eight villagers. And... Uh, how much do... It, fishing boat enabled as well, so you can get merchants and uh, fishing boats. So I believe merchants are going to cost coin. They are. So even though it's, it's very random with Indonesia, with Dutch, because their villagers cost gold, but this this trickle gives you food. So unless you've got... If you, if you didn't have any gold and had no way of getting it, you couldn't ever get any more villagers, um, even with that trickle. So that's kind of funny. But he does. He has banks now. He has a factory. So he'll be able to re rebuild some villagers. And he's already got seven now. So that's nice. Okay. On, that's a scary amount of set banks. This is uh, six set banks. I think we can call that a gangbang. I think uh, I'm not sure how many. I think five's a gangbang, right? Or, I mean, even three, I think. So this is a, a, a gangbang decent gangbang right now. Uh, should I keep saying gangbang? It's probably a bit weird, isn't it? Um, more walls going up. He's really desperately trying to stay in this game. But the tempo is... It doesn't... Oh, it's only yeah. slowing down. It's only slowing down. It's Stand not stopping. Just subscribe. This yep. game is sexual. Oh, so sexual. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Aza's fault or my fault or a bit of both because he's teasing me. And even with the Yeoman card, I don't think these longbows, they just can't survive. The javelin is getting fisted. Another sexual reference. But there it is. We have been thirsty this game, but it was well worth it. The first time we see Azank on the ladder, we see him revolt to Indonesia. Az, I, God damn it, Azank, I love you. Sonic Boom. God damn it, Aze. You are... Aze is just a legend, man. Why? Aze is just such a legend. Look at that. Gathering so much less resources, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Most made unit was 140... Uh, sorry, 134 Javanese spearmen. God damn it, Aze. You are just the best. We love you, Azank. We do. We love you, Azank. We do. We love you, Azank. We do. Oh, Azank, we love you. GG, well played. Uh, if anyone who wants to know, uh, this is what the deck looks like. So you've got infinite four set bangs, infinite 16 revolutionaries, which we didn't get to see ever, any revolutionaries because they would have been buffed as well. But um, hey, that's fine. Infinite 16 Javanese. 
Um, this card's decent. So it's uh, the Akan card. It sends you free native embassies and uh, it lets you build like a decent amount of them. Uh, why you can't build infinite amount of them, I don't know. I feel like you should be able to make an infinite amount of them, but it is what it is. Uh, this is one of the worst, worst kind of mercenary revolt cards. So this gives you two great bombards and 12 Baghdad Janissaries, which are basically consulate Janissaries, uh, guard consulate Janissaries. So it is good because it gives you two great bombards, but, you know, there's better versions out there. Um, but, yeah, so that's kind of cool. A shame we didn't get to see that, but it is what it is. You've got that uh, Sumatran uh, elephants as well, um, but that's that's just that's just never good, really. It's just it's kind of bad unless you've got like ten shipments to spare.